Hello and welcome back to Spina Expresso. Today we're going to have a look at a Rocket Giotto and find out what's the problem with it. Alright, so this machine here, a uh, customer's brought in and complaining that it's blowing steam out the top. So, taking the top off and usually the pressure stat, if you can see there, we're just under one. Uh, we don't want to go much higher than between one to one and a half. I know on the, on the pressure stat there itself it says one and a half, but I'll I'll stop it before that. Are you going to get boiling hot water out through the group head? Uh, so I've taken the top off here, and when we look inside, you can see I've got two valves. We've got the ANSI vacuum valve, which we're not going to worry too much about today. And then we've got um, the safety valve, which I think could be the issue. So what happens is, as we're generating steam, we're just getting up to one bar pressure. And I can hear something building up. Uh, that pressure valve should go to about almost two bars pressure before that blows. Let's see what happens. I've just increased the pressure slightly. And let's have a look. You can hear a lot of noise. You can even see some steam. <laughs> okay, that gave me a shock. <laughs> okay, well that blue, it's obvious that that is blowing pressure way early because we're only at one bar pressure, which is sort of normal operating temperature. And that just, actually that gave me a fright. It's a good idea first, release all the steam. So we're going to do that first before we attempt to take that off otherwise that will come flying up at us It'll probably scare me as much as this steam scared me um, so I'll release all that pressure first all right we've got all the steam out so now we're just going to unscrew this and with these pressure valves you don't have to buy exactly um, exactly the same valve, pressure valve, release valve. As long as you buy one that's made for coffee machines, they'll be set at about two and a half bar and they're interchangeable with each other. Um, the only important bit is that you get you get the right thread. Okay, so we're going to see if we can find a new one, should I have one here, with the right thread on it. Alright, we've got one here. It's got the same thread um, metric, I think this one is. Uh, so we're going to put a lot of um, thread tape on this. And I like to go crazy with the thread tape. Um, when it comes to thread tape, uh, there is... There's a cheap one, which is usually the white one. And there's this one here that's good for gas and for water. Um, you see the thread starts here and goes in. So when you put thread tape on, you, you want to follow that same direction. Uh, the reason for that is when you're screwing it in, the thread, uh, the thread tape doesn't actually slide. Um, like I'm doing now, it's sliding a bit. Get a couple of wines on it. Like I said, I like to put a lot on. And I like to even put like a little ring around the base. So when you got it right in, you're sure it's, it's going to seal nicely. Alright, so let's get that on. It's 
Turn this get that on. As tight as we can by hand. And just screw it up nice and tight. Sorry, I was going in front of the camera there. So that's, I mean, you don't have to go crazy with it, but that's very tight. All right, before we take this off, it's a good idea just to mark, I like to mark that number one, and this one, number three, because nothing goes on number two. So when we put the new pressure stat on, we can make sure the wires go in the right order. Although on this one, I don't think it's that vital. I like to do it with everything we take off, put the wires in the right order. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why that could have water in it. Could be that the probe hasn't been cleaned. So we're going to clean that as well after. Um, but we're going to make sure all that water is out of there first before we put the new pressure set on. And then after we'll go ahead and clean that probe and make sure that's set correctly. Because we don't want water there. What I've done now is, wires disconnected, uh, the, press, the wires to the pressure side are still connected, so it's still going to heat up. And I just want to create a little bit of pressure inside the tank, and then that pressure will blow, blow that water out. Now it's a good idea to put a cloth or something on top of that, so it doesn't squirt everywhere. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, all the water's come out. I can turn the machine back off and put the new pressure stat on. This is so on this, I'm just doing a hand tight first, and I'm going to get the multi grips on there just to give it another tight tightening. And the last thing we're going to do now is we're going to clean this probe to make sure we don't end up with water back in the, the line that goes to the pressure stat. So usually to get these off, just loosen it slightly and give this a good yank. You can see here, that's a bit dirty. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and clean that with a bit of steel wool. I won't show you that, so we're just cleaning the tip all the way down here. That's just um, that's just build up of calcium. So we'll do that now. All right, that's nice and clean. Now, when we set this, uh, it's really important. You see there, there's the element down there. So when we set this, you don't want to. Sometimes you can get a probe that's very long so long that it goes down past the element and that's no good because you want to make sure that tank is half full of water and that that element is definitely covered it's very hard to see here um, but when I put this probe down the side if I put it right down where it was chances are that element is not going to be covered with water and I'll burn out the element so I'm going to put it I'm going to put it that, that, about that far down. That's making sure the boiler is half full of water and half full of steam. And that's the perfect place to set it. So we're going to just tighten that up and put the wire back on. this wire um, you can see there it's got a little flange uh, so instead of putting it that way you want to put it the same way so the those little bits that come around come around there and you want to make sure you've got a, a tight fitting connection 
it's not tight you want to just give that a little squeeze I'm going to do it on this one so I'm just going to give that a little squeeze and make sure this doesn't push down all right so now we've changed the pressure stat we've changed the safety valve we cleaned the probe let's test the machine out just want to show you uh, why the machine's heating up we're going to test it uh, that's actually got a, uh, an adjustment here so that's got a, a diaphragm inside with a spring on it and you can adjust the tension on that spring and in fact adjust the temperature of your boiler just by screwing you see here positive is clockwise negative is anti-clockwise so if you want to increase you screw it clockwise it's that simple um, now it's heating up so we're only up to half a bar so we've uh, we've set the pressure just below one bar and we're happy with the we've checked the temperature of of the group head the water coming out of there and we've got no leaks we've got the new safety valve new pressure stat um, that's ready to now get the lid back on and back to a happy customer and that's just sitting nicely at I'll say 0.8 to 0.9 bar and um, yeah that's it for this episode